Hey, what's cracking? What tea at? It's right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay? We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right, the masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it! Get the truck in position. Block both lanes of traffic. I'm stopped. You're on, F. Did Public Works change their schedule? You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers! Sounds like they're coming in numbers, homie. Looks like they hit their panic button. Half the LSPD incoming! F, stay in cover there. I'll be up here with a rifle. Shit, we ain't gonna clear the area. All right, we hold the cop, make a play when we see a window. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. Precise for this thing! Ah! 
a mark. Yeah, man, fuck you. LSPD sniper team. Team on the roof opposite you, just to the right. You gotta take him out, T. Down. I got visual on the snipers. They're going down. They up on that building, man, right there. Take these snipers out. I'm done, dog. Clear, clear. There's no way out. What was that? Turn it up. What was that? Oh, fuck. You win. Hold it. Oh, fuck. Dog, all right?
everything cool? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all, right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Shot by a dick with a crossbow. was a brother knew who the enemy was. Now, I just don't know. Welcome to the most exciting store in the whole world. That's really nice.
Can you give me a ride? I'll pay you. I got money. Sure, I can take you. I'm unbelievably late for a flight. I need to get to the airport fast. Check-in closes at 5. I can't miss it. Piece of crap rental car of all the days. The average American spends 15% of their income on running a car and almost two hours a day in transit. You'd expect these auto manufacturers could deliver a reliable product. Sorry, I'm a numbers guy, but outward facing. I can work a spreadsheet, but I can also work a room. I run the models, I date the models, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have to take your word for it. So what flight are you trying to catch? Liberty City. I'm an equity analyst in Algonquin. Tech comms. The big leagues, man. The pressure, it can choke you. But I live for that shit. Name's Tim, with two M's. Because, mmm, mmm, I am hungry 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Michael, with one L, because that's how it's spelled. Well, listen, buddy, because you're helping me out, I want to help you out. My back, your back, they both get scratched. Get me to the airport on time, and I'll give you the kind of tip you can really take to the bank. I am hung over. The vendors took us out last night. <laughs> I had so many tits in my face at one point, I thought it was going to suffocate. We dropped 5K on bottle service, so go figure. I know what you're thinking. With everyone belt tightening is not cool. But you gotta stop mixing up investment and retail. We didn't cause this housing bubble or the last one. <laughs> I don't even Holy crap, what was that? <laughs> I don't even speak to those retail drones. You know, you're a really interesting guy. Good to talk to you. I didn't realize I was talking. And this new bubble crisis bubble? It's just hysteria anyway. There's a boatload of money to be made in a downturn if you know what you're doing. An idiot's lose paper, whatever the weather. When the storm comes, I make it rain, baby. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just make this flight. I think I can still make it. Buddy, I owe you big time. Okay, here's my tip. Buy shares in Tinkle now. You won't regret it. Unattended baggage will be destroyed. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. 
It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no, I mean, you know, not really, but that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. <sighs> the FIB is making me... Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good but not as good as taking control before you act out. Just don't like myself very much, Doc. That's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. If I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Want to do something? Uh, genius. Haven't we got work to deal with? I guess I just wanted to spend some time with you, T.
What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck does the hey, church How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Oh.
coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind us. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. We gotta hang in there. Let's do this! Let's get him! As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. Stay with them. Coming up on Polito Bay. We might gain some ground on them. Good things come to those who wait. How far are they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Thanks at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. And yeah, we gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hear that? Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I, oh, I think I love you. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these films? Let's have a real race. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S., so that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Talent prevails. That's all I'll say. You ain't gonna have that lead for much longer. I wouldn't write me off just yet. Hey, Frank. Yeah, what'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting my 
guys are racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. 